All right, so now we can start in uh, importing the necessary libraries. So LOF is local outlier factor and OCSVM is one class SVM. And of course iForest is uh, I saw later forest. All right, then evaluate, evaluate print is a measuring of the performance of these classifiers. All right, so what we will do next is to create a dictionary of these three classifiers. And we will also uh, put in the parameters of these classifiers. So this is my dictionary classifiers. LOF is local outlier factor, OCSVM is uh, one class support vector machine and iForest is um, isolation forest classifier or sorry anomaly detector here are the parameters for LOF usually by default uh, there's 20 neighbors that we will look at uh, all of this not so important metric Minkowski with P equals to 2 means Euclidean distance will be used. And the contamination is the number of, of outliers uh, that we want to set, which is 0.2% uh, of the data. Support vector machine, we need to define a kernel. We choose a linear kernel at this point. The parameter new is 0 0.05 and here contamination is the same, it's 0.2%. The same for the others. Here just that means that we're gonna use, uh, that we're gonna subsample and make 100 trees. Yeah. So let's, uh, let's run this and this works, great. All right, so let's continue now and write our final block of code to run these uh, three classifiers. And here we go with a loop, right? We've used enumerate uh, in the past. So it allows us to go through the classifiers in this di uh, dictionary. And the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna fit the model on the training data. Yeah? And we will also uh, assign labels. Yeah? Uh, based on the training data and also scores. Uh, this is the, the outlier scores of the training data. Yeah. So then we, uh, we move over to the uh, prediction uh, session where Y test predict will predict if a point in the test set or a transaction in the test set is an outlier or not and if it is an outlier uh, in this case it will predict the anomaly score of that transaction and y test proba basically predicts the probability of a sample being an outlier or not and then evaluate print is where we actually uh, summarize the scores so that we compare we can compare the three uh, classifiers now let's run this code and uh, this will take some time all right now we have the results and um, we can see the LOF gives us a score of uh, 0.76 which is actually not very good but look here the one class SVM is even lower yeah, so not only is SVM uh, ra rather slow, also the output is not where it needs to be. However, when we look at decision trees and isolation forest, we see a score that is quite good. Yeah, it's above 0.95. So let's take note of that and uh, let's summarize in the uh, in the final uh, video.